morning guys so today i'm going to my first flea market in berlin so it's at mauer park um i will include the um actual address down below um and it says it runs from 8 a.m till 6 p.m so i'm heading there now at about half past 11 um and i'll kind of get a bit of a feel for whether it actually does run that late i don't know if i've ever seen one that runs for so many hours um but hopefully it'll be good and i'll take you along understatement it was like a humongous market with like art stalls and um, jewelry crafts and leather bags and all that kind of stuff loads of food and then also it was like half people selling their second-hand clothes like a, a um, car boot sale or something so the clothes were actually really cheap These things were like two or three euros and then kind of five maybe like 20 for something designer but I thought it was really good so I think I would recommend it um, apparently it does run until at least five people are still going so you can come any time of day um, and yeah it would be a cool place to spend like the entire day with food and drinks and all kinds of stuff um, so check it out and we'll see what else we can find around Berlin so today I've come to Humana which is kind of the big um, charity shop chain across Berlin and I think Germany there seems to be a bunch of different stores so I've just picked the biggest one let's see how it is it looks absolutely huge I don't think it's two floors but I know that this building goes a long way back into garments and then by colour. Um, anyone in Berlin always wears black, so most of the things are black. Um, but there was actually a decent amount of selection that wasn't. They also had loads of shoes, accessories, um, ties, a huge menswear section, and a separate vintage section if you like that stuff. Um, the prices weren't particularly good. The jeans were all nine euros, even if they were kind of the low range H&M ones. Um, jackets were kind of 10 to 15 t-shirts were like maybe five um, but it wasn't super cheap especially considering the size you really have to hunt but I did get a couple of things I got a cardigan because it's been colder here in the evenings than I expected and a pair of trousers both of which were nine euros each so reasonably expensive to spend 18 euros on two things but I think the flea markets are probably a better bet if you're looking for a real bargain so I have come to Schoenberg flea market I'm so sorry about the pronunciation um, but this one is in a kind of JFK square where apparently he said if been I'm Berliner so it's supposed to be super famous um, like a historical visit and also there's a huge flea market so I'm hoping it's gonna be really good apparently there's lots of second-hand clothes and it's very cheap so I'm looking forward to it I did manage to buy a couple of things from a girl who was selling some stuff who had a similar style to me but mostly there is quite a few secondhand clothes but I'd say they're semi-professional sellers um, and it's very comparable to a car boot back in England so there's lots of like old mobile phones or makeup that's probably fake and there's quite a lot of fake stuff so I think it's probably worth it if you're living in the area or staying around here but I probably wouldn't come here specially um, I have found a couple of things but I'd say most of the sellers are kind of semi-professional good morning guys today I have come to our Connerplatz flea market which apparently is supposed to be a really good one um, it's very kind of local neighborhoody feel and it's in a reasonably well-off area so I have high hope <laughs>
mostly um, vintage, really beautiful vintage like knickknacks and furniture and some clothes. Um, so a little bit more expensive, but really, really nicely curated. Um, the only like kind of real local sellers seem to be mostly young mums with kids clothes um, but the quality was really really high so I would recommend it um, but it's a bit more of a like upmarket vintage style if you want like um, a little knickknack or mountains of vintage watches and jewellery so worth a look but not so much of like the car booty secondhand clothing style. I've been living in Germany for a month now and next we are heading to Thailand for three months. I'm going to do a separate video about all the best places to thrift in Berlin but it seems that things have gone a little bit out of hand. So let's start off with accessories. The first 